welcome to Bernita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is turkey stuffed with sausage. Now I'd like to touch a little bit about why I'm using sausage in turkey. Um, of course we're going to use our traditional uh, stuffing which is about three cups of uh, grated bread crumbs with savory, pepper, salt and about two, two and a half tablespoonfuls of butter. And this stuffing will be put into this side of our cavity in our turkey. And we're going to be using sausage, which is just pure pork sausage. You get in your frozen section. And this, sec this sausage, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to put it in the other side of the turkey cavity. And before I get started on explaining why I'm going to be using this tradition, um, I like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving weekend. Um, so again, I'm going to touch a little bit on why I'm using sausage in our turkey. Um, this uh, recipe was given to me by my sister-in-law. Her mom used to use this recipe on whatever occasion uh, they had their turkey, let it be Thanksgiving or Christmas. Okay, now I'll get started and I'll talk a little bit about that while I'm doing this. I'm going to cut up um, a medium onion into small cubes. I'm going to use half of it in my stuffing, which is the dressing that will go in um, the front part of the turkey cavity, uh, which would be onion, two cups of grated breadcrumbs, and uh, some salt and pepper to seasoning and savory. And of course, we can't forget our butter. If you don't want to use butter, you could use about a, a couple of tablespoonfuls of olive oil. Okay, so I'm going to start with my stuffing first. Um, and I got about three cups of uh, breadcrumbs. But just to let you know that this is a nine pound turkey that I'm uh, using today. Um, so you may have a bigger turkey, you might want to use more breadcrumbs, more dressing, uh, more savory, um, but I'm going to let you decide on that. I'm going to put about half a teaspoonful of pepper, and again it's to your taste. Um, about the same of the salt, about half a teaspoonful, and I'm going to use a tablespoonful of savory, and the more you use it just flavors it more, so you don't have to be too particular with that. And then the butter is at room temperature, or you could melt it all the ways so that you could uh, blend it in there. But this is what that would look like. I'm going to blend all of that together. So just mix it with your hands because you can get it all incorporated a little bit better. And it's going to look like this. Um, so it's just going to continue putting the butter in through. And what I'm going to do now is just put this to the side because I want to um, dry down my turkey and then cut open the sausage roll so as I can show you that portion. Okay, so what I mean by drying down my turkey, you just get um, some paper towel and just nicely touch around all of, this, all of the body. This is usually uh, pinned back with the extra skin there. Take the legs out. You can put them back in again after because you want to get your hand in there. And it also got, you know, sometimes too much liquid and you don't want that for when you put your stuffing inside. So just dry that out. Now before this, I had washed the turkey all off when I took it out of its uh, casing. So this is nice and dry, so I'm going to start stuffing the turkey now with my dressing, what we would call dressing in Newfoundland, uh, but stuffing um, is also called. So uh, I'll get started. Okay, so you're going to continue stuffing it with your dressing until it's all done. Doesn't matter about the mess. So you remember that I had taken this flap off the legs. I'm going to put the legs back into that flap of um, skin there now, just to lock them together. Because you don't want the legs to move around and touch the sides because it'll burn. This way it'll keep it nice and snug. So I'm going to turn it around and we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, so I got that done. So now next, we're going to cut 
one section of the sausage just be careful you don't cut yourself and again it may start to come out once you cut it so um, you don't want that to happen so you're just going to cut a little bit off like this Okay, so this is where the fun part starts and this is which this part is what I was fascinated with because I've never had it this way before uh, last week my sister-in-law invited me for uh, dinner and this is what they made and I was quite fascinated by it so I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm thinking you would be as well so this part of the cavity we're gonna like you said have this side cut open and you're gonna start squirting it in there and Try to keep it in because you're going to use this skin part flat back down over and that's what's going to keep it in there. It may get a little messy and again that's fine as well. So you try to get it all stuffed in to the turkey just putting it up in the back keeping your hands there to hold it until it's all done. Okay so what I'm going to do now I'm going to turn the turkey over because I got this flap out there now so as you, you can see that it's a little easier for stuffing it and we're going to continue squirting this pork sausage into that cavity pushing everything down there because like I said when this cooks it's going to come out into one big chunk and you're going to cut it into slices. You're going to love it. So usually we cut this part of the turkey off when we're stuffing it, um, you know, our usual way. But, um, and sometimes people put dressing back on this side as well. I'm going to tuck it all around and tuck it back. As you can see, you can't even see where I put the sausage now, only in portions. I'm going to turn the turkey back over. Now you may have lost a little bit of your dressing, stuff it back in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it and transfer it over into my roaster. Okay, so now we're going to take our turkey, and again, it doesn't matter what size of a turkey you got. This is a nine pound turkey, so, um, you know, the amount of in, uh, ingredients that I gave you for that is fine, but you could use more. You think about when you're, you're stuffing your turkey, you want to make a lot of stuffing, dressing, we would call it as well. So we got our sausage in this cavity, we got our, our dressing, our stuffing on this side, and now what we're going to do, we're going to add our half onion. I'm going to put it in. If you've got a bigger roaster, that's good. This one is fine for me right now um, because I got a lid on this one, so I want it to cover it. And it's an old-fashioned roaster, so uh, it's one of my favorites, to be quite honest. And I'm going to use, again, about half a teaspoon full of pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the top. And I suppose I should have done before I sprinkled that. I want, want to show you. I got pot liquor back here. We call it pot liquor. It's the water from our salt beef boil. And I'm going to put about a half a cup over the top of my turkey. Because I want to seal in the turkey so that the juices from the turkey don't come out. And this is hot broth. So I'm going to put this back there. And now I'll continue seasoning it with uh, another little bit of salt and I already got the pep pepper in there. I think I'm going to put another little bit of pepper over because I'm, I'm a lover of pepper, not necessarily salt. We don't need a lot of that. Okay, so this is what she's going to look like. So like I was saying, this is what our turkey is going to look like. Uh, being that this is our Thanksgiving um, weekend, um, I'm cooking this turkey for uh, my family for uh, our Thanksgiving feast. And uh, the broth that I told you about, the liquor from my pot, is the baller that I'm going to be using my Jake's dinner um, cook-up in. So that's what I'm using for the, the liquid to seal in the turkey. I'm going to be putting my turkey in the oven at a 350 degree heat. There's a 9 pound turkey, so that's 15 minutes per pound, will be 2 hours and 15 minutes. You can check it between basing it with your broth that's after, and the juice that's after running from your turkey to the bottom of your pan. I'm going to keep it covered on the first hour of my baking time and then after I'm going to take the lid off so I can get all of the skin nice and golden brown. I'm going to add another half a cup of broth from my boil. Um, this is not over the turkey, I'm just going to put it down into my roaster 
Um, I'm going to cover this now. I'm going to cover this back here. I'm going to put it in the oven and so you'll meet me back here when it's, when it's roasted. Our turkey is ready now to take out of the oven and I'll show you what he's going to look like. So let's take him back now to our workstation and let's get cutting. Okay, now I'm going to remove it from my my boiler. Okay, came out all in one piece. So that was two hours and 15 minutes for a nine pound turkey. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the stuffing, take out the sausage, let you see what it looks like. Okay, now let me put my mitts on. I'm going to put this roaster over on the stove top because I'm going to use that drippings for making my gravy after. You can't throw out anything. Okay, so let's just start by taking out probably the sausage first. Okay, so let's cut into this back cavity and take all of this sausage out. Okay, so I'm just going to continue cutting this. Of course, it's not a lot of work to it, and it smells absolutely amazing. So it's just going to look like this on your plate. All this nice white meat. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that little bit of skin off there. Now I'm going to take out the stuffing that we put into this side. So you'll see what it looks like. So now you've got double the, the, the taste with this because you've got the savory dressing on one side and you've got the nice sausage on the other side. Okay, so I think I got all the stuffing taken out of my turkey. So this is the pork sausage on this side we got our stuffing on this side and our turkey which I'm not going to carve yet because I'm going to let it rest for a while mainly this episode of um, turkey and dressing with with sausage was mainly for you to see this this uh, beautiful sausage that you can put into the other cavity to make even more goodness for your turkey so I'm so happy that I was able to share this um, recipe with you and again this one was given to me by my sister-in-law I'm so glad that I brought this episode to you guys today um, we uh, had a, um, an invitation to CBC Crosstalk um, on Friday which was October 7th um, to talk about Jeek's dinner and um, peas pudding so we had quite a few callers and thank you for everyone that called in and asked questions and shared their stories with us. And this was one of the topics that I brought up. I brought up about um, turkey stuffed with dressing and with sausage. So I wanted to share this with you with this video so on this Thanksgiving weekend. You may want to try it um, and see what if you would like it. So this ends our episode of turkey stuffing with sausage and I hope this was helpful to you. Please take the time to share with your family and friends on your Facebook page, subscribe or visit bonitaskitchen.com for more and many more beautiful and delicious recipes of traditional Newfoundland cooking. Thank you and you have a happy Thanksgiving and a wonderful weekend.